What's the current state of the art, if you will, on Dynon's efforts with EIA in order to produce STCs that allow the use of your gear in certified aircraft? Yeah, since uh, Sun and Fun, we've been working hard on uh, adding some things to the STC and getting uh, all the paperwork polished off. The EA has been an amazing partner in helping us out with that. And where we are today here at Oshkosh is the STC is finally officially completely for sale. And two big additions to that since Sun and Fun, we have expanded our approved model list. Uh, originally it was the Cessna 172 series and the Piper PA 28s effectively. And we've expanded that to many more Cessnas and Pipers, the 152s, the 177s, PA 32s. So that continues to expand. The other big announcement is that the Dynon EFIS D100, which is the larger screen version of the D10A, is also acceptable for installation. It requires definitely more work by your shop on a panel in figuring out how to fit it in there, but we have one in the 172 that the EAA has, and so it's excellent to see both the EAA and FAA helping us work on continuing to expand the product line that can be in a certified aircraft. For the benefit of our viewers, what's the difference in overall functionality outside of size between the D10 and D100 series? The D100 is a bigger D10A. That was, in fact, part of the reason we were able to get it in relatively easily. The primary difference is that the D100 can split and show the directional gyro next to the screen instead of just using the tape across the top. And then when you do some secondary things like checklists on the screen, they will show up as a split screen next to the attitude instead of a full screen, but otherwise the actual functionality and what information it shows is identical. For a person shopping for an alternative for their certified panel and having one of these aircraft available, uh, what's the process? What do they have to do with you, with the EAA? If you could just kind of wrap that up and let people know what they're going to have to do to get their 152 dynamized. All right. So on the Dynon side, everything uh, that goes in the airplane is exactly the same things that we sold before. You need to get your hands on a D10A or a D100. You need a backup battery, which is required by the STC, the same one we've always sold. And then you do need a GPS to back up some of the functions were your pitot to fail. We do sell kits that are the minimal STC kit. And then beyond that, you then need to purchase an STC from the EAA, that's $100 through them. And then you bring it to basically anybody that can legally work on the airplane, an ANP, an IA, or an avionics shop, and any of them can install that. It is a STC, so it has a 337 involved with it, so an IA does need to sign that, but doesn't need to do the actual work. Because we're so used to dealing with home builders, we've already done a lot of work to make these easy to install, and uh, we're hearing that the installation is pretty quick um, and simple to do. We have pre-made wiring harnesses that make it very quick and everything else is plug and play so you're not paying to have somebody design a wiring harness for you uh, and hook everything up. What's the current pricing on the D10A and the D100 series? So Dynon has kits that are based on the minimum required STC components. So with a D10A, that kit is $26.25. And on the EFIS D100, that price is $31.95. And that includes the instrument, the backup battery, and the GPS that's required. And availability? Availability is now. These are shipping right now. And we'd love for you to get one installed in your airplane as soon as possible. Aero TV is brought to you by Waco Classic Aircraft now offers the Great Lakes 2T1A2. Inspired by the classic YMF5D, it's smaller but with 180 horsepower, simpler avionics, and fully aerobatic. Waco lets you fly simply for the fun of it. www.wacoaircraft.com Fall in love with the next plane you'll want to build at AirVenture 2016, the Sonics Aircraft B Models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics aircraft flight characteristics. Visit our AirVenture booth 622 in the North Aircraft Display Area.